So in this video, I wanted to briefly talk about upgrading the refill on your Lamy Safari ballpoint pen. The uh, Safari is a very popular pen, particularly in the fountain pen, and then I think the roller ball, but a lot of people go ahead and pick up the ballpoint as well, either to have a set or just because they like the Safari fountain pen, so they get the ballpoint. And then pretty quickly you find out that the Safari, like most Lamy pens, uh, ballpoint pens, uses this M16 refill. And this is a totally adequate ballpoint refill, but it has a proprietary shape that really means it's very, very difficult to swap this out for a different refill. Unlike, say, a Parker style refill that is very, very easy to interchange. The two might look somewhat similar, but due to the shape and a few different elements of the Lamy M16, it's very hard to replace this with another refill. The interesting point is that Lamy in their ballpoints actually have two different front ends. And by that, I mean this writing tip here. There is a smooth type style, which is on the Safari, the LX, the Vista, and the uh, AL Star, the All Star, whatever. That's the type we're talking about today. If you have the Lamy 2000, they don't use that smooth style. There is a little ridge right around here that you can't see very readily, but it is there. And that little ridge interacts with the little pieces right here, those little nubs that stick out. Uh, and it's an added complication. It makes it extremely difficult, even more so, to replace the refill on a Lamy 2000 ballpoint. We'll worry about that one another day. This refill is about, this video is about getting a better refill into the Safari, again, or the LX or the Vista, whatever. I will just note before we go into a non-Lamy refill that they do have a Lamy M16 Broad, that's the B. There's also a Lamy M16F. So if you like the Lamy ink, but you uh, want something thicker or thinner or smoother or a little bit coarser or whatever, smoother, you know, maybe a little bit more toothy, then you can go up or down a size within the Lamy line. There's also something like this, which this is a JMO. There's also Monteverde where you can get a Lamy contoured refill just from a different company. This is sort of like a uh, a licensee or something like that where they use the same refill tech, but uh, from a different brand. What I actually want to do is go ahead and get a non-Lamy refill in here. And I found out the best way to do that is with a couple refills that Pilot makes. Pilot has two refills that we'll talk about. The first is this one. This is called the BRF-25. In this case, the width is BB, which is double broad, but the important part is the BRF-25. This is a ballpoint refill. And then you also have, out of my S20, this is the BRFN-30. In this case, it's an M, uh, but the BRFN is a acro or uh, kind of like their modern ballpoint style. The BRF is kind of an old school ballpoint style. So uh, both oil-based inks. This one is uh, kind of that slow, thick ballpoint ink from yesteryear. And this one, the BRFN, is the acro style. So it's more like a Jetstream style pen. These refills are actually good exchanges for the Lamy. You can see they're not perfectly the same. But the important part here is a very long, very thin front end. You could find long front ends on different refills, but they tend not to be skinny enough. The Lamy uses a very small hole here. This like aperture is smaller than normal. So a lot of refills that would otherwise fit won't fit in here. And you can press this and kind of expand it a little bit but I have cracked this front piece before. And if you crack this, basically your 15 or 16 or $20 pen is, is not good because Lamy doesn't sell replacement parts. So you can open this hole up a little bit, but you have to be really careful when doing it. And obviously if you have a pen with a metal front end like this, so you also need the smooth style front end, but in metal, like uh, Lamy Econ, I think has that. There's a few other ones. Uh, it's, it's much harder, right? You could drill it out maybe, but now we're getting into like overly complicating this situation. So to get 
one of these BRF refills to fit in your Lamy Safari, it's pretty simple. All you really need to do is you have to adjust it so that they're essentially the same length because the front end is basically taken care of for you because this piece and this piece are almost perfect. This one's a little shorter, which means you're gonna have to push the spring a little harder, but that's actually not a problem. Now we just have to adjust for this back section. The easiest way to do that is to get some sort of piece of plastic, usually something that comes with a refill or the back of a pen refill and just cut it down to size. This is actually the back of a, uh, just a thin uh, plastic refill from a pen. I had the pen, it was essentially out of ink. So I cut down the end of the refill, the gel and all the ink was probably over here. It didn't even hit this section. So it wasn't dirty or anything like that. And I just cut it down. You can see this is actually the factory cut end. So it's perfect. And here's the, the end I cut with my, just any pair of scissors. And you have to cut it two or three times to get the length perfect. And you have some little pieces of, of refuse here that you'll get rid of. Okay, so how do you make this work in practice? It's actually fairly simple. Uh, all we really need to do is open up the pen. Obviously we've set aside the refill and we're gonna take out this Lamy spring. All you need to do this is just get a paper clip and push it in the front end and just pop that spring out. This is a pretty specialized spring. So you wanna set this one aside, save it in case you wanna go back to the original refill. Now we're going to put our straw piece in there, put the refill is gonna go in next and you're gonna get a standard pen spring. This one is just from a, a zebra pen that I was no longer using, but any pretty standard pen spring from a zebra, jet stream, Bic, whatever you have, just a kind of normal spring, put that on the front. You'll see it's a little bit longer than the front end, but it fits perfectly. Put that in here. Now you're gonna put that front end in place And you'll see this pokes out a little bit. That means our length is a little bit off, but we could adjust that. The click is a little bit rigid compared to before. Again, that means you're really close with the size of that back straw or the size of the spring, but it's a little bit off. You can see it's poking through a little bit here. That's not ideal. That is what we want to fix. Uh, but generally speaking, we're spot on. And now we have our Pilot Acro uh, BRFN or BRF ink in place. These are both great refills and I really do prefer them to the Lamy M16. So how would we make this perfect? Uh, the first thing I would try is the easiest thing. I would just get this spring and I'd expand it a little bit, maybe twist it out a little bit and just see if if just that millimeter or so is the difference, don't lose that. If this thing falls on the floor and gets under some place, it's pretty hard to find, but again, it's easy to replace. Still off. And now it's a little bit worse. So what we're gonna wanna do is get this piece out, get your scissors and chop off like, you know, to shave off a millimeter. You wanna keep this somewhat round. See, it's really hard to tell with the inside of this, like where is this going? It's really hard to tell. So you just wanna keep this round and consistent. That spring. Okay, so now we'll put it back in. Gonna make sure this piece is as pushed down as possible. Okay, so this is probably a little closer than we want, but the important part is that it's not sticking out. And when you click, nice click, it feels good. It sounds good. And then this, the ball is not exposed at all. And now you have your BRFN working perfectly. If we go over to the BRF, 
I think those refills have exactly the same contour. So we should be go good to go there. If again, if you want a more traditional ballpoint ink. Let's see how this goes. Yep, that looks good. So this one, you see it's locked up a little bit here. I'm thinking that's because the tip is a little bit thicker. Yeah, definitely it's that. And that's because this is the BB. So if you go with this, the standard broad or something like that, then it would be fine. Again, this, this BB is, it's a very, it's like an exceptionally wide, it's like a 1.6 millimeter ballpoint. It's not probably what you need. Uh, or again, you could uh, expand this out by just the slightest little bit. Uh, so that'll work. But again, that one's right here. Now, if we want to reverse the whole process, we'll just put our original spring back in. I'm gonna go with the broad. Make sure your little straw is out. And here's that original click. And there's the depth. You can see it's maybe about two mil in there. And this is my M16 B, B as in blue, but also B as in broad. And there you go. So uh, no damage was done, obviously a fully reversible process. Uh, yeah, and uh, that pretty much covers it. Uh, if you want to upgrade the ink in your Lamy Safari, Lamy Vista, Lamy LX, Lamy All-Star ballpoint pen, I would definitely recommend using one of these two. Personally, I prefer the BRFN refill, uh, but you could also do the BRF. Just go with a thinner size than that 1.6 millimeter BB. Uh, we cost the slight, slight difference between this and this actually is a little bit too much for that Lamy writing tip. Uh, the last thing I would note is that the BRFN-30 and the BRF-25, they have plastic variants. And that variant is like the, I think it's called the uh, BRFN-25 or BFN RN <laughs> BRFN-20. Those are sold in the Dr. Grip pens. Uh, that's where they're the most common. They will not fit. Even though it's essentially the same refill and they're interchangeable in pilot pens, they're not interchangeable in Lamy pens because the front section right here is a little bit different. So you really do need the slightly more expensive BRFN-30 or BRF-25 refills. So you cost you maybe five, six bucks each, which is kind of a lot for a refill, but these, these ones do last a very long time and they're of excellent quality. So uh, yeah, pretty much covers it. That's how you upgrade the ink in a Lamy ballpoint pen. Thanks for watching.